Hey guys, it's Kyler GX. Sorry for not making videos for a while. I've been kind of obsessed with NES hacking. And I'm actually going to show you what I've been doing. Have you ever wanted to make your own NES hacks such as the, the granddads and those Chinese knockoffs? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using two programs. You definitely need FC EUX emulator for the NES. I'll tell you why in the second half of the video. But mainly, we are using tile layer pro which both you can get online you can just search them up real quick uh let me just show you what i've uh made this last week it took a lot of uh testing and stuff but i think i'm finally finished with it uh it's a modification of super mario brothers you can see on the thing i've already changed some of the graphics the grass um doesn't have the black outline anymore the clouds does not have the black outline there's an outline on the letters i changed mario blue i changed the ground actually the water tile the hills are different i changed the mushroom graphic and stuff oh by the way there's not going to be any sound on here this is a nintendo game i know how nintendo is stingy with their licenses on youtube and stuff i don't want to get a copyright strike so i'm not going to mention this game by name or i think i already just did but i'm not going to mention this i'm not going to put any music or mention it so this will be called super mario siblings See the mushroom is different. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is kind of a dream project, I guess, in a way. I've never really liked the graphics on the original Super Mario Brothers, especially some of the colors. So I changed a lot of it to kind of look more like a modern version of the more, more modern version of the game because there's a lot of stuff that look kind of ugly on here. Shit. And in the original game, uh, for some reason, the fireballs are facing the other way. I went ahead and changed the fireball completely. I redrew it. And I actually changed Bowser to his more modern looking design. So he actually kind of looks like he's supposed to. It's not all green anymore. Added some hair, the horns. Uh, which the button with the X that used to be there. Brr, boom. And Toad looks different now here. It looks a lot smaller, a lot better than the other one. Thank you, Mario. But our princess is not her castle. Anyways, how do you do this? Well, let's go ahead and close this for now. Uh, like I said, download these. You need this exact emulator. And also, Tile Layer Pro. Go to open. Look for your file, which is Mario Brothers. Now, when you first open, you're going to see all this garbage. Don't touch this at all. Don't ever touch this. This is like random code garbage. I don't know exactly what it is, but if you change it, it will drastically change the game. So you're going to want to leave that alone. You're going to have some weird effects. I mean, if you want to mess around with it, go ahead. But Anyways, what you're looking for is scrolling all the way down is looking for these things that look like the actual graphics. Now, um, all of this is kind of trial and error. You have to look for what these things are. Kind of hard your first time because you don't know what the hell you're looking at. You're going to have to practice. So you get the mouse. You're going to drag and click to the tile arranger right here and over here you can, you can kind of use them like a jigsaw, pu jigsaw puzzle to see what everything is and as, you, as you can see most of these sprites are made up of four tiles one two three, four and then one two three, four that makes up the entire sprite uh, you can change the palettes for these uh, these colors do not reflect what's in the game you I'll show you how to change that later it's just for graphics um, and actually I'm going to try to make it look like how Goomba looks in the game just so it's easier to look at. Change this to black. No, oh, that's supposed to be black. Change this to black. Change this to brown. I can see it's being reflected here, but you have to change it. Wait, am I doing this right? The Goomba. Okay, and then this needs to be white. Now we're going to go ahead and go to palette, and transfer to arranger, and transfer the color. And there, there's a Goomba. You can see how it looks. Uh, so the next step is actually really easy. You click on the tile you want to change. You can click on it here too, or here, wherever the Goomba is. Uh, we're here. You can just go ahead and choose these colors and draw over it. Very easy. 
gonna go ahead and give him some big old eyes. Big old sound guys. If you want to copy and paste, you can just click and drag it on this side, and then obviously click on here and flip it over. Oop. There now it's selected off of there. Take off the mouth. Give him a smile. Smile, smile, smile. That's basically it for changing graphics. I mean, like, like I said, the most difficult part is finding out what the hell all the stuff is. Kind of have to play around with it. I mean, that's the way I found. You can change all the graphics on here. Gonna be a lot of trial and error, like going in here, saving it, playing it on the ROM, seeing something that might be wrong, and then coming back to change it. It's a long process, I, I guess, but it's still fun to do. Uh, especially those who've always wanted to make their own hacks. That's very simple to do this. Make them angry. Actually, no. Let's just keep it. Let's keep that like a half that half grin smile, whatever it is. Like, eh, eh, eh. Do it, I. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save this, save as, just so I don't save all over the original one. Name it Super Mama. Go back to your emulator. Run your game. And the change should be very quick and apparent now. <laughs> Boom! Anyways, the second step is changing the colors, which is a little bit more complicated. Let's go ahead and pause this. Go to debug. And that's why I said you do need this emulator because other emulators do not have this option. But go to debug. Go to the hex editor. No, actually, first go to debug and go to the PP viewer. This shows you all the colors that are on the screen right now for the entire level, at least. And uh, you kind of have to figure out where stuff is. This is where it gets a bit more complicated. Uh, like for instance, if you want to look for Mario, well, first of all, let me show you that uh, the NES can only support eight sets of colors max. So, and each set has four colors in them. So here's like one, two, three, four. That's one set. This is one set. This is one set. This is one set. This is one set. One set. One set. One set. That's eight in total. That's the limit. That's why it's called eight bit. Correct me if I'm wrong. But all of these use up a transparent color if you see like here's Mario. Mario has red, orange, and blue. Here you can see red, orange, and blue. It's the only set that has those colors, so this must be Mario. And it has a blue transparent background around him. So if you go ahead and look here, uh this Goomba. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to blue just so it's easier for you guys to see. This blue right here represents the background and allows him to look like that. Because if you had that as another color, it would just show up as a black square around him or whatever color you make it. Like, let's say the background color is red. I have to update the arranger so it would do this. So it would look like this. It would look like a, a, a red colored square behind him. And yeah, sprites technically support four colors but mostly if you want them looking you know good you have to sacrifice that that first color as a transparent background color anyhow now with this information we can see mario is right here right so if you go over here you see that this color is zero zero you don't for the for what we're doing you don't need to worry about the background color but right here uh color of his overalls is 0, 1. And then the orange is 27 and 16. Remember that. 0, 1, 27, 16. So we go to the hex, go to debug, go to the hex editor. Go to... I'm getting hiccup, hiccups. Go to view, go to ROM file. This will search the whole entire ROM. And now click find. 
Damn it, I forgot the number. Go back to the PPV viewer. 0127.16. So you type in 0127.16 and it'll look for that combination of numbers next to each other, which should be Mario. And here it is. And now what you want to do is change those numbers. And here you can find this online again in Google. Just Google NES color palette. It'll tell you what these numbers are, what color they are. So what was it again? 012716. Got zero 01 right here, the blue, 27 for the skin color, and 16 for the red. So let's say we want to make them Hulk skin colored. So the skin color for the Mario was 27. So we're gonna change 27 to uh I guess 1B. We go over here, change the 27 to 1B, and then say I want to make his overalls purple. Um, uh, the best purple color I guess here is 13. So, what was the overall? This the overalls were blue, so we're gonna change blue to purple. So that's changing zero one to 13, and then we'll just leave the hat red. Actually, let's do that purple too. So we'll change 16, which was red, into 16 again. And either you can save the ROM or save as a different file to save your changes. But all you have to do is hit reset to see those effects. And there you go. You got Hulk, Purple, Joker, Mario, whatever you want to call this. That's very simple as that too. It's just a bit more complicated in my opinion because you have to look up these hex editor numbers. And sometimes when you want to look for something, there's multiple colors of the same one. So let me give you an example. A uh, Goomba. Well, let me put a Goomba on the screen. Pause it. Goomba is a combination of colors. Brown, light brown, and black. And if you see here, there's two sets of colors that contain light brown brown and black so you have to do try and error to see which one it is so let's try this first one 36 17 0 f go back to the hex editor and i forgot the number 36 17 0 f 36 17 0 f. 6 17 get up well f should be black i'll change that to Zero C. Yeah, I think that's a blue color. So let's reset it. And we're trying to change the Goomba right now. And obviously that wasn't the Goomba color because it changes the bricks. So that's the color of the bricks. Let's go back to the PPP viewer. So obviously it has to be this. Let me unpause the game right now so I can show you. It sh it shows the active colors by the way. So you know how the coin is blinking off and on right here. So obviously this is this. So the Goomba must be this color. So we have to look for this combination in order. OF3617. OF3617. Wait, did I put something wrong? OF. Huh. Oh, I put 26. 36. So this should be the Goomba. So let's change this to OC again. Actually, I don't know what color that is, but one part of the Goomba is going to be white, which is 30, I think. So let's see what the hell I changed because I I'm not wasn't really paying attention. But the Goomba should be a different color now. There we go. I did it that's basically it uh it matters in what order the numbers are because that's the way they're coded as and set as uh, so you guys want to go go ahead and mess with that i think this is the most complicated thing to understand but messing around with it and stuff you'll understand it for this i didn't know anything about any of this stuff so if you guys want to do your own modification stuff just go ahead and try it it's not that hard 
Uh, sometimes you will have to go. Let's go to the hex editor again. Sometimes there will be other numbers with that combination. So if you go find next, it found another one that's OF3617, and that might be something else somewhere in the game that has that same color combination. So that's why I said it's more difficult. You have to find by trial and error to see which one is the color you're trying to change. But just practice with it. Let me see if there's another color. So no, there's only two objects with that color combination. And I don't know what the other one is, but just like I said, mess around with that. You'll learn by doing stuff. I think that's all I have to say about this. Now I'll add it at the end of the video. But I hope this encourages people out there to do stuff like this. I know with the NES it's really easy because it's limited to very few colors and the graphics are not very complex. On Super Nintendo I think it's way harder. Uh, so many colors and stuff. Um, you can do this. What else was I going to say? I think that's it but there's some games i kind of want to fix kind of like friday 13 jason has like purple colors i'm going to change that to his regular color batman is also purple i actually did change batman to a gray and blue color he looks a lot better now so there's kind of changes like that that i want to do some graphical changes like that like i said i've i was never happy with super mario sisters i almost said brothers brothers but i never liked the graphics for like the goomba and stuff and now i can do that Hopefully one day I can put the ROM file on an actual cartridge and have like a physical cart for it. And just go ahead and have fun. And like I said, if you're starting out, get a small game like Super Mario Bros. or one of, like the, one of the black cartridge games like Pinball and stuff like that. Because later games like Super Mario Bros. 3 and stuff, they have a lot more sprites and everything's a lot more complicated. But yeah. Hope this has been educational for you. Hope it's been fun. Hope it gets some people into homebrews and hacking and stuff. I still don't know how to hack like actual commands and levels and stuff. But I can probably find it online. Once I learn how to do that, I'll make another video. So you can change and edit levels and stuff. This isn't the same as actually designing games. Games is a lot more complicated. There's a lot of programming and coding involved. But for those who want to like... Get like a small taste of it uh this is what you can do hopefully uh you guys make something cool and send it to me if you want if you guys want me to see it maybe you guys want me to play something that you guys have made uh, if you guys want me to send you my updated super mario game i uh, just go ahead and message me or anything like that but yeah pretty much it see you guys later